All right, we're here with uh, softball uh, season preview, getting ready here uh, in a couple weeks for the first game. Uh, we're with uh, shortstop uh, senior Amy Trianfi. Amy, thanks for your time today. Uh, Amy, just talk about, kind of bring us up to speed on the, on the status of the team. Um, you've been here for, for four years now, I've been through a lot of you know, off seasons, a lot of fall ball. Uh, just kind of talk about you know, what your thoughts were um, from, soft, from fall ball and maybe some positive takeaways uh, for the team. Yeah, so we had um, a really great fall this year, probably one of our best falls um, ever, I could say, in the last four years I've been here. Um, we had a ton of new talent coming in along with our returners and had enough players to be able to split up into two teams and actually worked really well for us. Um, we're able to succeed um, with both teams together even though um, a lot of us were split up and not used to playing with each other. There's a ton of freshmen, but um, our chemistry, I mean, people were saying like, looks like you've been playing together for years, even with some of the freshmen coming in and filling spots. So it was, it was a really good um, bonding season for us, I guess. Good, talk about um, kind of the influx of new talent, um, girls that are able to step in and, and play right away or, or have a contributing factor. And then also that key, you know, core group of returners that you guys do have. Talk about what that, you know, kind of what your role was, you know, from a leadership side to be able to, you know, hey, we need to, you know, get these girls acclimated and we, you know, need to continue to raise expectations and, and how you're able to kind of establish that uh, in the fall. Yeah, so we had um, a ton of talent coming in. Um, one of our biggest freshman classes, like I said, I feel like that we've had in quite a while and honestly, every single one of them came in with the mindset that I'm a freshman, I am here to prove myself and do well and they've done nothing but given their all of practice and um, are more than more than welcome to, you know, step in for anybody in, on the team. And um, like I said, our bench goes deep, so expect to see some freshmen starting or playing or coming in every game. Um, they've done a really, really good job at just taking the part of the freshmen and um, showing, showing us what they've got. Good. Now, Amy, looking back on your, your four years, just even your experience here at the, you know, with the softball team, experience with, the, you know, the school and the academic setting, um, just kind of talk about what, um, you know, maybe looking back, if you haven't done that yet, maybe go ahead and do it real quick, but uh, just kind of the overall growth of the, you know, the success of the athletic program, the success of uh, the softball program, and kind of what it means to be, um, you know, a graduating senior, mm -hmm. you know, at this time. Yeah, so over my past four years, um, the school has changed so much. Um, we've grown not only in class size, but in what we have. I mean, look at this beautiful football stadium that we have now. Um, the programs are only getting better. Our records are getting better. Um, and as for classes, um, like I've, I've always said that I love this one class size. I love being able to have a relationship with my professors and the athletic director and my coach. And it's just a really good environment um, for those who like, like that relationship, you know, and um, being able to see the growth over the past four years has been really incredible. And it's very exciting um, for me. So. Good, and then you know, carrying that kind of fast forward look, you know, about 30 days away. Um, talk about how that excitement is carrying over. It's like, okay, now it's official practice. You know, we're at the Legacy Center full time. We have our own spot. We can get reps in. Just talk about what sort of excitement the team has right now that official practices have started. Yeah, so we are very excited right now. Um, came back, didn't skip a beat. Everyone is talking and laughing and but we're getting down to business you know everyone is serious and um, especially for the seniors I think it kind of hit especially me like yesterday coming in and it was like oh my goodness this is my last season um, it, it got real and so I think we're all just ready to buckle down and just make it through the entire season not give up um, and that's been one thing that we've been trying to stress is like um, rely on each other don't don't get burnt out if you need some help if you need anything just like stick together as a team we are one and just buy into it. We can do it together, you know. Talk about some of the goals. Uh, you mentioned team chemistry. You mentioned, you know, great talent, uh, good core group coming back. Kind of what some of those goals will be, um, you know, those first couple of weeks when you, you know, head off to, um, you know, Florida and Alabama and Georgia, and you're getting all those games in a short amount of time. Um, while they are good to kind of get under your belt, you know, you're still trying to figure some things out mm -hmm. as well, too. Uh, so maybe talk about, you know, how preparation will be for that and some of the goals for those first first couple of trips away. Yeah, so with such um, a strong um, 
returning class and which is with a strong freshman incoming class, we could have the infield, outfield any different way. So um, I think we're going to really focus on seeing who fits best where, um, what kind of combinations we can do, and um, the whole team together kind of bonds like really well. But um, it'll be interesting to see kind of when we go out there who will be starting and filling in. And like I said, our bench is so deep that it could be different rotations throughout the game. But it'll be very exciting to see how we all come together when the first game comes. So. Looking ahead to then, you know, hopefully once you get back and, and the weather's better, permitting, you don't have to have a huge, uh, huge uh, couple weeks layoff before WAC, uh, WAC play starts. Uh, maybe talk about, you know, the team's gotten better in your four years here and more respectable, uh, more successful within the WAC. Um, maybe based on your experience and, and kind of goals moving forward, what would kind of be, you know, what, what does the team really need to focus on or do well in order to take that next step uh, into the, you know, top of the WAC? So um, one thing I think we really need to focus on is hitting. You know, we've always been um, pretty sound uh, defensively, but we go through ups and downs hitting. But um, how it's looking so far, if we stay on hitting, um, our def defense is looking great. But um, really focus on, I guess, just that offensive side and then also just um, staying together as a team. You know, it's hard when you go down to Florida and you play so many games, like it's so much fun, but a lot of girls, especially the underclassmen, aren't really used to it, um, whereas the upperclassmen have gone through it, they know what to expect, and so I guess just um, keeping everybody up and, and um, just keeping that team chemistry together, not losing that. Good. One of the things I think once you guys started finally having home games last year, mm -hmm. you didn't have many, but I think the games that uh, you did have at home when it was nice, you guys were able to get a good crowd and a lot of energy at the field. Um, and I think a lot of that, you know, did translate to wins for the most part, which was exciting. Uh, just kind of, you know, a plug for Concordia softball and uh, a rallying cry, even though maybe a couple of months from now, you know, what, what can the, the team expect to, to see or, you know, fans can, what can they expect to see when they do come to the game and, and what are some reasons that, uh, you know, fans should come out to support uh, Concordia softball once it gets warm? Yeah, so um, definitely look out for our bats. Um, I think we've got a great hitting team. And if we hit as well as we didn't fall, if not better, it's going to be hard to beat us, you know. Um, so definitely look out for our bats and, again, that chemistry. Like I said, people were telling us, like some of the seniors, freshmen, juniors playing together, like it looks like you guys have been playing together for years and we hadn't known each other for more than three months. So um, look out for that chemistry and definitely those bats, and it'll be fun to watch. Good. Well, thanks for your time today. We're looking forward to the, the season starting, following you guys uh, in Florida and everywhere, and then uh, can't wait to – you know, in the middle of an ice storm, we can't wait until it gets warm so we can uh, yes. get out there and support you. So uh, thanks for your time. Good luck coming up. Uh, senior shortstop, Amy Trianfi. Thanks, Amy.